take a look up here. So one thing that's pretty important, right? The whole reason that Manchester has this ordinance to put fire suppression in, there's lots of fires happening in the city. This happens in this city. It happens in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. It happens in Lowell, Massachusetts, so every city. But when you see structural members like that, that are completely charred off when you're walking through a property, you have to check the history of the property and make sure the seller's aware or discloses to you when it happened, what happened. And it's important and smart to have the city inspector walk through the property with you and let you know exactly what needs to be done to bring this back up to code. Because as of right now, a lot of these members, if they're charred like this, they're no longer supporting the roof. So you can do things, some things you can do like sistering, like putting another beam next to it and screwing it together, but sometimes you have to replace the whole darn thing. Not to mention the secondary problem, which is honestly getting the smell of smoke out of the charred members. It's really tough to get that smell of smoke out of any fire property. The only way to really do that is number one, replacing all the charred members. The ones that you don't replace, you have to coat them with an odor blocker primer to make sure that they're completely odor blocked and they're not leaking any of that stuff into the air. Three, you'd run an ozone machine for three days. We have an ozone machine that takes care of mold, takes care of mildew, takes care of even fire. And we run that in the whole house. You gotta get out because it kills everybody inside of it. Not really good, no bueno. And once you finally have that, you then buy the special paint to go into that room specifically to cover even more so one more coat of everything.